I tried getting Hitler's curls using flexibles for the first time on my natural hair and this is the final look and result. So if you're interested in how you got this look, you want to keep on watching. My hair is freshly washed and you want to properly detangle your hair before you go in with this tutorial. So this is the level of detangleness that I have gotten. Going in with the Mega Glow Deep Conditioner to avoid breakage because my hair is going to be going through a lot of combing in this video. So I want to ensure that my hair has been protected against any breakage or any harshness that might come with me going over the comb several times. And as you can see that I'm properly applying it on my hair because I want my hair to be saturated with it. This conditioner is very good even with your wigs and your natural hair as you can see. It just helps to restore the we start the goodness, the goodness that has been washed off while you were taking care of your hair in the shower. So I'm just going through this with my hair and ensuring that I have it in generous amount in every part of my hair. And as you can see that my hair is looking so sleek and it's looking so saturated and it's ready for manipulation. I'm making use of this big tooth comb because I want it to be able to go through my hair and not start making tangles along the way if that makes sense so i'm using the tip of the comb to just part my hair into four sections this should have been very easy for me but this is not the best time to be a perfectionist because tell me why i was going through this like for a longer time because i wanted to ensure that it was a very straight perfect line but nobody really cares yeah because i don't know they are going to end up covering those patterns and everything so it does not really matter just ensure that you have your hair into different sections when coming to this section part it depends on what you're going for so i found out that if you're trying to go for like very tight curves you want to partition your hair into like little little sections but i wanted to have this big chunky one like you saw in the beginning of this video so i figured that okay from the tutorials i've watched they all went with big partitioning and everything so that's what i also went for so it's kind of like when you want to relax your hair so that's what i went for and if you are not a perfectionist like i am the patterns will not matter like i said earlier so just want to do your best ensure that you have four equal not so equal does not really matter really and just ensure that you have those parts ready so these are the flexi rods i'm using these are like the jumbo size ones they have one that like a bit smaller inside but they like are the jumbo ones because like i said before i want to go for this big loose curls pattern so i will like it the bigger the better if you get what i'm trying to say so like using your your one for your curves so the bigger the size the bigger your curves will be if that makes sense I should have started at the beginning of this video, but it's coming right now. This is my first time of trying this hairstyle. I haven't done it before. And as for someone that is just still new to doing a hair by herself, this hairstyle took me a lot than legs and hands because after this, you said at the end of the video that I was panted and I was literally out of breath. So if it's your first time doing it and you're not so used to getting your hair done by yourself, as you can see, the girls really struggling to have a good grip on her hair. I don't know if it was my nails that was the problem or how I positioned the flexi rod in my hair, but the aim was that I wanted to get it so tight in my hair so that the curls can come out better because I wouldn't want it to like fall off while I was waiting for it to form do you guess so after securing my ends properly on the rod the next issue I had was how I was going to clip the rods to my hair so that's only clockwise one to clockwise but after I figured how I saw it in the video I watched before doing myself I then secured it and then thankfully it stayed and I was at this point already exhausted because tell me why I'm already tired not me feeling myself so yeah this is like an up close part of it Firstly, you want to split your hair because if you have full hair like I do, I'll first start by twisting it so that it can help to secure the curls better because if you want to get those curls and you're not so sure of how it's going to look like, from the video I watched, yeah, I'm not an expert at this, from the video I watched, the lady twisted her hair after putting it into two sections from the one that she already partitioned and then she went in with her curls. It does not really matter how tight these twists are, just ensure that it's strong enough to serve as a foundation grip for your flexi rods. Another question that I began to have in mind after doing this or while I was doing it was where was I supposed to position my hair in the flexi rods? Should I put it at the middle? Should I put it at the beginning? Or should I place it at the end? But one thing I've 
come to understand as well as with life is that sometimes you just have to go with the flow sometimes your hair will be at the beginning sometimes your hair will be at the end so just work with whatever is going for you and as long as it's working for you then you just do what it is and just stick to it because everybody's hair is different everybody's hair texture is different and for someone that has looked for a lot of videos on this actual tutorial and i kept seeing people that have natural hair people that have virgin hair and i really saw one that had like relaxed hair i want to say relaxed hair like fussy relaxed hair because they soup breast relaxed hair that for people that have 2a and all that stuff here so i didn't see anybody and hence why the girl was really struggling because tell me why this part i did it over five times you guys over five times it was not even getting funny at this point because i'm like should i even quit should i even give up but i'm like mm, i'm ready for you guys so i have to stick to the end here yeah. i just didn't know how to position my hand anymore it's like everything i was just doing wasn't just like what is this like literally what is going on i was about to cry i was literally about to cry and my arms were really killing me at this point because i didn't know what was going wrong because for example the first one did perfectly so i didn't think i'll have if, if i even see i was even struggling to even know how to even twist it any longer but i figured it out eventually at the end i can assure you that the girls really literally sweating so if your son that does not like stress i don't think he wants to try this if it's your first time doing it just stick to your going to the salon or using your hair rollers to get it done but i need to see if it's actually worth the hype or not because i'm in the era of my life where i want to be using less heat on my hair and it was not even cooperating with me it was not cooperating with me at all so if you have any idea as to why this is happening do let me know in the comment section and advise the girl because i think i'm scared to get this done at that time because i'm still having ptsd and my arms were killing me see my biceps guys it was feeling like i was in the gym and i was never in the gym yet so i eventually figured it out i don't even know what i did differently i don't even know if i said a word of prayer before i did this one again but it was like the seventh seventh time and i just managed it the girl was perspirating the girl was really hot and her arm was killing her i had to even go for water break because i was thirsty i was so exhausted and in fact that i had so much to go i'm like no i cannot keep doing this so combing my hair properly to ensure that it is detangled and at this point i'm like okay let me go for color color matching for someone that doesn't even know what she's even doing so i'm like okay yeah color coordination will be the way so i'm going to use peach for this side and use green for the other end so splitting it into two and then twisting it this splitting part does not really matter to ensure that you have two functioning parts that you can form twist with and when i say twist here you just turn it above each other i saw me doing and so it was pretty easy for me to do like the first green i did i don't know what was wrong with that first pitch i did i don't know what was wrong but it was like quite easy for me to do and i just put it in place and it stayed like see your mates cooperating and i knew that i had to do that first one because i know that the front really matters when it comes to this hairstyle and i didn't want to be having regret like i saw in those girls videos that i watched earlier on so i knew that i was going to have to go back to that one so i needed to get this ones done properly then take my time with it so showing that for the last time well i think for the last time so you just open it up and then you just place it above each other like how you do to this like an up close part of it so they can see it clearly so you just place it above each other you can choose to go through with this to the very end if you want a different pattern of course so i found out from my research yeah i did a research before doing this video i found out from my research that you can twist it in different ways to get different patterns yeah, yeah. so there are different things that contribute to how your curls will turn out at the end of the day the first thing is the size of your flexi rod that matters as well the second thing is the section that you are working with so like i said earlier if you want like very tighter curls you want to deal with like smaller sections of your head you can not fall you can go with like 25 26 if you have that time but i'm very happy i dealt with because i was already exhausted so the side of your road matters your your partitioning size matters as well how you twist your hair around your flexi road 
matters as well. So those three things come together and make a big impact on how your curves will end up looking like at the end of the day. So you can as well make those twists and then as you're wrapping it around the flex shoe, you can also make another twist around it again as well. So just do your research and then Google how you want your course to look like at the end of the day. Then when you find it, then just work with it and then you can put it and replicate it onto your hair. I was struggling here as you can see guys, but we'll be fine. We did that every day. I guess turning it anti-clockwise was not doing it for me. So following the size and the pattern and the flow of the flex rod was what they did for me. And then we're back to this guy. You can see he's really forming those curls, but I knew if I left it like that, it was going to be a disaster I'm waiting to happen to me tomorrow. And I could not deal with that real quick because I was going to cry literally if that happened. So I took my time. I was saying a word of prayer at this point because I was tired. I see me using my mouth to straighten back my flexor because it's really bent in that actual position. So if I tell you guys that I went over this again, this was not the final time I went over this hair. I think this section of my hair actually had a problem. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was the red house issue or the hair wasn't dry enough. It just wasn't working. Like any attempt I made to put it in place wasn't just functioning and the girl was frustrated but like i said in life or like i normally say you have to be patient you have to go for what you want and be patient with it yes it will frustrate you but you know what you're going for and then just keep at it and ensure that once you go at it several times eventually you will get it so i went back again i did it the girl was sweating her arms are killing her but i went over it again properly holding it and saying a word of prayer in my mind that god please god i beg so i did it and this time around it stayed in position guys like i was so happy and i learned that doing it in an anti-clockwise when i say anti-clockwise that actual word i just held now putting it in an anti-clockwise position is what was not working so i just bent it and just kept it in that place and that's what made it stay so you have to just figure out what works for your hair and what works for different sections i was worried about the beginning part this middle part that was a bit puffed up but i was stressed my hands were killing me my fingers were killing i had to crack my knuckles and then to secure everything i don't know if this works but i use this above oil sheen hairspray to just give it a little bit of moisture and just keep everything in place and just make my curls come out the more i can't even know if this worked but i see them do this in salon after doing like washing and setting so hence why i did it after going with the hairspray i'm going to go in with the hair dryer of mine so the point of this is to ensure that this flexible stay in this actual position and there's less movement or there's less disturbance when i go back to bed at night here so you want to ensure that all those bonds are secured underneath the do rag and you properly tied maybe not too tight yeah because you don't have headache but ensure that it's properly tied and secured on your hair so that there's less movement because when there's less movement then there's less room for it not to work if that makes sense so for it to get more security i went in with my satin bonnet so that in case the bonnet comes off the dura can never come off so it was like a safety precaution that i took and this is what we are looking like right now and the girl was tired <laughs> and then we went to sleep for that night so this is now the next day and this is what we are looking like right now we are nervous very nervous but we are working with faith and we're working with god on our side so after praying in my heart that okay this will work because I was so cry because the girl did not straighten any week as she was going out today I really banged on this hair working and gave me what I wanted to look like so it's time to unravel our hair and this is what our first curl looked like it wasn't so bad I don't know why I look like that but it wasn't so bad I'm not even gonna lie it was not so terrible so going over to this one that I was praying for seriously praying for and then unraveling it and then seeing that it didn't actually do so bad was a testimony that i have to give in the church because when i knew that one was good i'm like so that one's to be fine they'll actually be fine because if that one could be good like that then i was good with these other guys so when you want to unravel it you don't want to rush okay 
you want to take your time and ensure that you do not go in with your hand no matter how tempting that might be you want to just unroll it carefully gently and do not touch it because if you didn't touch it most of it's hitless here yeah? any small disturbance any small mago mago it has gone back to straight hair because your hair is not naturally coily your hair is straight so going with this mega goat goat oil oh my god <laughs> so going with that mega goat goat oil then just you need to just add shine and just release any friction that might happen so i'm just going to just moisturize my fingers so that when i'm unraveling the curls it's not so what's the word it's not so rigid it's not so it's not so tough it's like very soft manipulation on my hair if that makes sense so i'm just going it gently i'm not being harsh with my hair at all like i always say you want to treat your hair how you want to be treated in life so you're doing this attempt to just scatter everything because i didn't want to destroy this because we're so pretty we're so so good but i knew what i wanted to look like but i couldn't get that middle part of my head to settle down for some reason so i was doing my best just unravel it carefully so as not to destroy the curls that already been formed so this part you want to take your sweet precious time because this is not the part where you want to wash it because any attempt to wash this part you are going to destroy the curls and as you can see i loved what i was getting i think the right part of my head which is what you're seeing as the left side really did well i didn't really understand what was going on with that front because i felt like it was still a bit wet so i went in with a comb to just loosen up the beginning part of the course because i need to look much more natural but i was going with the comb i saw that i was straightening out the course and i'm like you know what i'm gonna stop with the comb for that side so just gently going with the comb to just make everything look according to how it wants it to look like and i was trying to just use my hand to just roll up that side so that the course can come back together at this point, I was semi-satisfied with how this was looking. I wasn't so sure, but I like the bounciness of the curls, as you can see. It was giving me a different look, and I was so feeling myself. I was like, period. Like, don't talk to me anyhow. Like, this was so, so nice. I like the fact that the curls were given what they are supposed to give you can tell that i really really like this i do hope you try this and let me know what your thoughts and where your results are in the comment section that's it for this video guys bye